Before the opening bell, U.S. indices closed higher on Monday, led by shares in semiconductors and semiconductor equipment, retailing and automobiles and component sectors. On the economic docket, there was no news to report. This all has 63% of S&P 500 constituents. They traded higher yesterday. Now, after the markets closed, Apollo Global Management announcing the acquisition of Shutterfly Incorporated for $51 per share in an all-cash transaction with a $2.7 billion enterprise value. Meanwhile, turning overseas, Asian markets higher today. The Nikkei rising 0.33%. The Hang Seng up 0.76%. China CSI 300 up 3.01%. South Korea's Coast B up 0.59%. European markets gaining ground in U.S. futures calling for a positive start. In terms of expectations today, H&R Block fourth quarter EPS seen at $4.17. Well, on the economic docket, we have the May NFIB Business Optimism Index in the morning, as well as May PPI year over year. Turning over to the markets, the S&P 500 is where we begin. That sees a bullish bias above 28.8050, and that's in focus as the relative strength index is mixed to bullish. Long positions above 28.8050 are favored with targets at 29.04 and 29.29 extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, sees the bias remain bullish, while the Dow Jones sees the bias remain bullish as well.